game development. You're probably like, what the fuck? That's a weird way to start a video. Yeah, well, you know what's weirder? I could have dragged my nuts across the camera, but I didn't. Now, did I? So, recently, uh, there was a game that I was completely unaware of that they dropped a gameplay trailer after two years. Uh, it's called The Day Before. Now, I was unaware of this game, and originally I was like, oh, okay, that's cool. I don't get why people were so upset. I kind of get it, though, because I watched the gameplay trailer and what they, like, said was coming. Not A pre-rendered trailer, if that makes more sense. If you want to know the difference, a gameplay trailer shows gameplay of a game, and a pre-rendered trailer is, well, as the name implies, pre-rendered. So you're probably thinking to yourself, Oh, well, what is the big issue here? Well, I'll tell you what the big issue is. Oh my god, is it hilarious. Like, okay, listen. I'm gonna explain it in the best way possible. In the pre-rendered trailer, they have, like, two characters talking to each other, and they're basically like, Oh yeah, I'm gonna go. One of them, uh, I say they're basically like, One of them goes like, Oh yeah, I'm gonna go check out what's in this, uh, what was it, like, skyscraper tower whatever skyscraper or tower whereas the other one was like gonna go do their own thing and it looked beautiful it really did i mean the puddles were nice textures were nice and then the gameplay trailer dropped now before the gameplay trailer like i, I get into it i'll tell you what it is it is a game about killing zombies so innovative my god i know um I am also quaking in my boots at the absolute innovative nature of it. Now, you're probably then thinking to yourself, okay, so what's the issue with the gameplay trailer? Well, I want you to keep in mind that, like, it doesn't look great. Uh, they show four zombies, don't even shoot, and the gameplay they show is this. Yeah, you're, it's, it's, they're walking around. Yeah, that's insane. I also have legs, see? I don't need a game to walk around, all right? I think it's different with things like platformers. Like, for an example, one of my favorite games of all time is Gris, and it's a platformer. The thing is, though, is that, yes, technically I am walking, but I'm also jumping. I'm doing things. Like, Mario's a platformer. You're not just walking. So... I think it's funny that they released it, and they're like, oh my god, look at this, it's gonna be so good. Because they've been hyping it up, apparently. Now, I went I went through, I saw some of the hype, they did kind of hype it up, and they were like, gameplay trailer dropping, guys, don't worry, gonna be sick, it's gonna blow your pants off, in fact, you're gonna want new underwear when you watch it. Um... Well, I did not need new underwear when I watched the gameplay trailer. At all. Uh, as a matter of fact, I, I, I needed a new shirt because I was sweating from how uninteresting it was. So that being said, what are my overall thoughts on it? Honestly, I don't have much. I think it's disappointing, but I also think that the state of most games releasing nowadays are disappointing. Hell, I played the Forspoken demo, and I thought it was fun. I thought the game had a lot of potential. And my god, no it did not. I, I, that is one of the biggest L's I think I've taken this entire year. It is a massive L that I took. I never publicly said it, but I did talk to a few of my friends. I was like, dude, Forspoken looks so good. You know what? I haven't played it yet, so maybe it, maybe it's decent, but I'm going to be getting it on a sale, and let me tell you, it, it was a massive L. It was a really bad L for me. So, not as big of an L as my friend who's really into Halo, because, man, State of Halo Infinite, it's not looking too good. So... Yeah, the main reason I really want to talk about this is I feel like it is very reflective of the current environment of the gaming space. I feel like things are so oversaturated, and maybe not even oversaturated is the right word. I just feel like games are, like, 
releasing so disappointing, so underwhelming, and their excuse is, oh, uh, we didn't have the talent, we needed time. Or I think my favorite one is, um, no, it didn't under-release. No, it, it's your fault for not liking the game. Wh which, I mean, is a valid point. If a game is, like, decent, then, you know, I can say that, oh, well, it's my fault for not liking it. Elden Ring is a perfect example. I don't like Souls-like combat. I think it's very slow. But I'm not going to say the game is bad, because it's not. But, you know what? I'm kind of sitting here thinking to myself, like, it, it's sad. Because, I, I'm not going to lie, I'm not, like, my socks aren't blown off, and not because I don't have any. My socks aren't blown out of the water because, like, oh my god, shocking, how could they do this? I'm kind of just like, hmm, another one, huh? And that's really sad. We gotta, like, as gamers, can we just admit it? We need higher standards, dude. Alright, listen. I'm gonna start revolution, alright? We're not gonna accept gaming studios shoving their unwashed, filthy fucking cocks that they've dragged through the mud in our mouths anymore. And more importantly, I'm not letting them dip their nutsack in my wallet if I don't like the fucking game. So, I'm gonna call for it. If a game looks like shit, don't buy it. Alright? Make them have higher standards of us. And make them earn our money. Who knows? The game's not out yet, so maybe this is like a really old gameplay trailer that they just haven't released yet for what reason? Who knows? It's very possible they haven't. But, you know what? I don't think that's true. I don't think that's true because there's a very detailed video on it, and I'll link it in the description below, of everything that happened. So, I kind of think it's just a reflection of the gaming industry right now, the state it's in. It's very much, nah, just put it out. They'll buy it, still. And apparently it was like the number one listed game on Steam. Number one or number two? I never fucking heard of it, to be honest. Like, when this entire situation happened, I was like, the fuck is that game? It's a zombie game? Okay. Like, I've never heard of it until now. So, that's really all I have to say on it. Uh, I really think we do need to hold game developers to it. And maybe not game developers, but at least the publishers... To a higher standard. They need to understand that we want quality stuff. All right? Now, I'm not saying every game has to be amazing or perfect or, like, flawless or an absolute world-shattering view. No. It's okay if a game is good. It's okay if a game is just okay. It's okay if you're like, yeah, I played that game. It wasn't bad. All right? I mean, shit, I played Callisto Protocol, and I still really don't get why so many people are like, this game is not good, I don't recommend it. I recommend it, I, I do. It's a fine video game. It's nothing mind-boggling, but it's just fine. But, in my opinion, there isn't much room to shoot beneath when it comes to the Callisto Protocol. Like, for an example, I think what the Callisto Protocol released with, in my opinion, should be not the minimum, but sort of the middle of the road. I really don't think that, like, absolutely it is untapped potential. But so many games come out, and it's like, why? What is this? I don't get it. So yeah, that's really it. Thank you for watching. I hope you have a wonderful time of day whenever you're watching this, and hopefully I'll see you in the next one.